after everything that's happened. You really think that you have a right to stand here and lecture these men? We're here by choice, John Paul. You're free to leave. Can you not see what he's doing? I think this meeting is getting a bit derailed. Indeed. Um, look, we all understand that sometimes these discussions get a little heated, so I think John Paul and I should talk about this privately. So, um, let's pick up where we left off next time. What on earth are you playing, Anne? What is wrong with you? I'm not the gay guy practising gay conversion. God, I, I came here to talk about yesterday, and I find that you're still running these meetings. These men look up to me. They need me, and they have chosen to be here. You're making them suppress who they really are. You, you're denying them true love. OK, OK. How you feel about Maxine, does that come anywhere near to how you feel about me? I thought so. So I'll ask you one last time. Stop all of this now, or I will stop it for you. You do that, and you will never work here again. But I know you. You're not going to sack me. Just like you can't bear to be apart from me. Thanks. So, how long are you planning on putting yourself through this? Preaching one thing and doing the other? It, it's not going to stay secret forever, you know. So is that your plan? You're going to out me? No. I, 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 would, I would never do that to somebody, no. You are torturing everybody around you because you hate yourself. But there's nothing to hate. You're just gay. I am not gay. Carter. And what would Freya think? Huh? If she thought I'd been lying to her for the last few years. If she realised that my relationship with her mother was a failure because I couldn't love her in the way that she deserved. Well, she'll understand. She loves you, you're a father. Your faith teaches you to love and respect everybody, especially yourself. I can't no, listen no, to this. Look, look, look. You don't have to be brave. You just have to be honest. Whilst I might be able to be myself, my true self with you, I am who I need to be for them and for her. I think that's the sin. I don't want to hurt you, but how can I tell Freya? She can never know. Know what, Dad? Freya, what are you doing here? I thought you were studying at home. Yeah, you forgot your phone. Thank you. What do you need to tell me? Uh, I don't think now's the right time. No, what were you two talking about? It looked really intense. I found alcohol in Mr McQueen's desk. What now? After everything that's happened, you promised me that you changed and I believed you. I forgave you. F Freya, that, that, that's not what happened. OK? You, you, you dad... You pathetic little man. Stay away from my family. If you won't tell the truth, I will. No, Freya, please. Freya, please, stop. No. Enough is enough, OK? I have worked so hard on my sobriety. You don't get to just mess with that because you feel ashamed of yourself. I am sorry. Please. Now, this is my life that you're destroying. What if my family hear about this? All the, all the trust that I've built up, gone in an instant. I didn't know what to say. It just came out far too easily. Coward. You have no idea what this is like. 
My father knew what I was. And he made sure every day of my life was tinged with shame. And I, I can't just shake that off. But that's just it. I do understand, Carter. My first boyfriend wouldn't touch my hand in public. The reason that I've given you so much grace is because I get it. But there has to be a line. Do you think I choose this? This, this is just who I am. You always have a choice. You're supposed to care about me. Yeah? Maybe look, look at what this conversion therapy stuff has turned you into. You're right. I do care about you. And I can see the damage I'm doing. So you'll stop. I will speak to Freya. I'll tell her the alcohol wasn't yours. I'll say it was Sandra's. That's perfectly plausible. And what about all the poor men in the group who believe everything that you say? They look to me for guidance. I lead by example. What am I without that? You're a father. You're an educator. You are someone who can get people to listen to you. You're a leader. That is the stuff that makes you, you. You can't even see what's right in front of you, can you? You've made not being gay your whole identity. I, I'm just trying to save you from yourself, you know? I need you to promise me that you won't do conversion therapy anymore. I promise. Ironically, I always thought I was helping you. I just feel a bit like I've come unstuck at the moment. And every time I'm around you, all I can think about is us? What do I do about that? What would you like to do about that? Make sure to click here to watch full episodes of Hollyoaks right here on YouTube, or click here to catch up on all the latest drama in the village. Oh, and don't forget to subscribe to stay up to date with all things Hollyoaks.